Hi guys, it's Allie. Welcome to my channel, and if you're a subscriber, welcome back. I'm super excited today to share my Japan and Korea haul with you guys. There are a ton of makeup and skincare products that I picked up when I was in Asia for the summer. Let's get started. So in Korea, here are some of the makeup products that I bought. I got this water fit cushion from Innisfree. I've been using this product for like two years now, so I bought a few more when I went to Korea. It's just a cushion compact. Also from Innisfree, I bought a scalp treatment. This is kind of like a scalp mask that you can apply to take care of your scalp. So I've been wanting to try something like this for a long time now, so I finally picked one up this summer. I also bought two eyeshadow products from Clio. These are both really good. I really like Clio's eyebrow products. One is called Kill Brow and one is called Speedy Skinny Brow. I think this was $14 and like $5. Just simple brow pencils. I got a concealer from the Sem. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I heard very good things about it, so I'm excited to be trying it. I also bought this Issa Knox Retinol Eye Cream from Olivia. Um, the store attendant actually recommended this to me, so I picked this up to try it out. From the airport, I picked up a Clean It Zero from Vanilla. This is a really good makeup remover, and it was really cheap at the airport, like $15, so I decided to pick one up. I also picked up a Lancome Tonique Comfort. This is like a very hydrating rose toner, and I picked up the huge bottle, which I think was around 40 something dollars at the airport. As you can tell, I've already used up a decent amount of it over the summer. I also got these face masks from Korea. Some of these face masks are like samples from stores or events that I went to or some are from friends too. What I bought from here are pearl bright complexion masks from Etude House and then when I bought that they actually gifted me two collagen sheet masks also from Etude House. Yay! Oh and I also picked up this Be Glow Pro Tailor Foundation from Espoir and this is also a very hyped beauty product. I think it won um, the award for best foundation of the year in Allure magazine. A lot of my friends have this and I was really excited to pick one up for myself and I think it looks really good on the skin. So I think this was around $40 in Korea. Those are pretty much all the things that I bought from Korea for this trip. Mainly the bulk of this video are Japanese products because I'm a huge Japanese makeup and skincare fan. Cool. Okay, are you ready guys? These are my beauty products from Japan! And I gifted some to friends and family as well, so these are the products that I'm keeping for myself. Um, and most of these products are from Matsumoto Kiyoshi in Japan or other similar kind of like beauty pharmaceutical tax-free stores. Yes, all of this was tax-free, which already makes it so worth it. If you're a fan of Japanese skincare and beauty products, it's a lot cheaper to get them in Japan um, versus in America. In America, there's always like a 10 to 20% markup for the same products. So this summer when I visited Japan for four days, I actually went to a ton of makeup stores and picked up a ton of makeup and skincare and hair products. Okay, let's begin, I'm so excited. First product is a refill for this um, oil makeup cleanser from Softimo. I use refills because they're a lot more environmentally fr friendly and I don't have to rebuy the bottle each time. I like that a lot of Japanese brands have refills for their products. I also bought a Speedy Perfect Whip foaming facial cleanser. Obviously, you guys probably know that this product has been super hyped for years. It's a really just simple, good cleaner. Then I picked up a few sunscreens from Japan. So this is a spray-on sunscreen. This is a Biore UV sunscreen and another Skin Aqua sunscreen. I also bought two Sunplay sunscreens. This one I've already been using in Asia, so I'm almost used up with this one. There it is. Japanese sunscreens are the cheapest in Japan. Um, pretty much, I think, anywhere else you go, except for maybe Korea, it's gonna be more expensive. Like in China, these products were way more expensive than buying them in Japan, and I think in America as well. Okay, so um, I also bought a lot of hair products. I bought um, a couple of these moisturizing masks, hair masks. This one is from Essential, Lucido, Ichikami, and a mask from Shiseido. So these are like your deep conditioning masks that you can use occasionally instead of conditioner. Oh, and this is a like a hair 
styling mist that you can use when your hair is drying if you like straighten your hair or blow dry your hair. This is also from Ichikami. I also stocked up on some conditioner refills. Okay, so then I also picked up some eye drops from Japan. I love Japanese eye drops. They're really refreshing and good for dry eyes. So since it's my last year at UCLA um, and I study a lot during the school year, it's always really nice to um, refresh my eyes and use these eye drops. Now I'll share the skincare products that I bought in Japan. Um, and then lastly, I'll share the makeup products. So the skincare products I picked up this summer in Japan is this hydrating lotion from um, Gokujin. Gokujin. And I've been using this product for a couple of years now. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a moisturizing toner that you can use. I think this was like $7 in Japan. I also picked up this naturally skin conditioner that has been really popular in Asia recently. I actually first saw this product on the shelves in Shanghai and I was really curious about it and I got to Japan and my friend told me that this product is really popular in Japan right now. So I picked one up. I've heard really good things about the results of this. So this product uses Koi X seed extract which I've actually never heard of before but a lot of people love this product in Japan apparently because it's very affordable and effective. So yeah, there's this toner that I'm very excited to try. I bought a Perfect Essence Silky um, Emulsion from Senka. A Perfect Essence Silky White Emulsion. The product is from Senka, which I believe is the same manufacturer of this foam cleanser. I picked up the Cure. This is a really popular product in Japan for the past few years. It's an exfoliator. Then lastly, I picked up a tiny version of the SK2 treat facial treatment essence. For now, I just decided to pick up a smaller version. These masks, which are from Kao, and they're the Megu Meg Rhythm um, heated eye masks. So the way that these work is you put them on your eye and they heat up. It's really good if you have problems falling asleep, which I often do in college from drinking too much coffee. So as you can see, I bought a whole bag of these. I bought boxes of these and I couldn't fit it in my suitcase so I had to take them all apart and put them in the bag. I also picked up these forest bath powders from Japan and I love taking baths so these are kind of like fun little pickups um, for your bath for any of you guys who love like Lush products or like bath bombs. I love these Japanese bath powders. The first makeup product that I picked up in Japan is this Kate foundation called the Base Zero Secret Skin Maker Zero. And this is a really nice matte foundation. Two powders. One is a colored powder from Can Make. And the other is from this brand uh, called Club, I think. This powder is really popular in Japan as well because it's really good for your skin and super lightweight. So I picked one up and I'm really excited to try this one out because I've never tried it before. So there's these two. I also picked up a couple of eye makeup products. So one is this multi liner, it's a brown eyeliner. The other is this DUP eyelash glue, which is actually in my makeup bag right now. So this is just the empty case of it. Then I also picked up this Kiss Me Heroin Makeup Mascara that is just super popular everywhere. If you go into Japanese makeup stores, this will definitely be like featured in the mascara aisle. It's actually really popular in Korea too, which is the first place that I discovered this product um, when I went like two years ago. So I just picked up one more from Japan. Oh my god, a lot of talking. And the last like beauty products that I picked up from Japan are lots of fake lashes. I'm the kind of person where I have a really hard time reusing fake lashes because I just take them off and then I don't know where they go. Probably in the trash can. Sometimes I'll find them like in very random places. So I like to just buy a ton of them because I can't manage with those like singular eyelash packs that you keep reusing. I just have a lot of them. Ah! So that was all for my Japanese products. 
So that is it for the haul video. Oh my gosh, if you look at the desk right now, there are like so many products right now. I had an entire suitcase full of this stuff. It was so heavy. Lastly, I just wanted to talk about one other product that I've been using and loving recently. It's these customizable line of beauty products from Mix Easy. Mix Easy is this really cool brand that allows you to customize the ingredients that you use in their products. I think right now they do shampoo, conditioner, a face cream, and cleanser. So you can pick the main ingredient and scent as well as additional ingredients in your shampoo and conditioners. The reason that I love this concept is because I have very specific needs for my hair and face and it was really exciting to be able to pick out specific ingredients for each of those things that I want to target and they make it really easy to do on their website. Like you don't really need to have any understanding of like different beauty ingredients. You just have to pick out the ones that match your concerns. So my shampoo I picked for dry hair because my hair is very dry from being dyed and bleached so many times. My conditioner is also for dry hair. Um, a lot of the ingredients I picked in here are for protection as well, moisturizing, silkiness. Yeah, and so far I've been loving the results from this product. My face cream is also for dry skin and it targets things like brightening, pollutant protection, and softening the skin. If you guys are looking for customizable options for your beauty and skincare needs, then I would totally recommend checking out Mix Easy. So that was my Asia haul. Thanks if you stuck through with that whole thing. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comments box below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.